So good morning class, this is Monday's English lesson. I hope you had a really good weekend. Quite straightforward today, although I'm just gonna kind of mix up which learning chunk you're gonna start with. So again, we're still gonna be writing our persuasive holiday brochure. We're three quarters of the way through it. Okay, so by Wednesday, we might start thinking about how we can create our own. But for today, learning chunk one, you're gonna do your subheading. Okay, learning chunk two is talking about actions but specifically, what kind of things, activities or actions can the adults do while they're at this hotel? And learning chunk three, again, is actions, but we're going to signpost the parents to certain actions because we are going to tell them what kind of activities their children could do if they were attending the kids club, which is at the Scara Bray Hotel. OK, so what we're going to start on is learning chunk two first. OK, bizarrely, because... You are going to, having written Learning Chunk 2 and Learning Chunk 3, you're going to think of a suitable subheading that you are going to use to summarise what this section is all about. Okay, so before you start Learning Chunk 2, okay, before you do the writing bit, I want you to leave a line. So think about Learning Chunk 1 is going to come first, but you're going to start Learning Chunk 2 before you do Learning Chunk 1. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So all your jottings, remember, go at the top. So all your ideas, all your thoughts, okay, they go here. I'm going to put the jottings. And when you start writing, they go there. Remember, your subheading is going to go in there because it's going to introduce the rest of the paragraph. Right, learning chunk two. Think of as many different activities as you can that the parents or the adults who go to visit this hotel can do. So you can speak to your parents about what kind of things. Remember the kind of things we've already talked about. There is those workshops where they make those stone balls and probably jewellery. Okay, they might go fishing because it's on the, the side of the... So there's the ocean is right in front of the hotel. So there's the, the bay, the beach. Okay, they might want to make some new tools. Remember, they're still Stone Age people that are visiting. They might want to learn to sail. Okay, so list as many of the activities that you think an adult could do. Okay, then... Underline three of them. So you're going to choose three. Then you're going to write out a sentence for each. OK, so initially draft in the jottings. Think about the ideas, structure a sentence. And when it comes to the writing, make sure that when you write, it makes sense. Make sure you write a sentence for each and you need to tell the potential customers where they will be doing in this activity. So if they're sailing, you can talk about the harbour, the beach, the coast. OK, if they're using making tools or they're making jewellery. Think about the state of the art workshop, okay? Use really good descriptive words when you're trying to persuade people, okay? That they have all these facilities and that the parents can do this whilst their children are engaged in other activities at the kids' club, okay? So, just to recap three activities you underline in your jottings, create a sentence, make sure you tell the potential customer where they can do the activity okay so you might want to mention again state-of-the-art workshops okay etc etc you're going to do the writing because i think over the last couple of days i've done a lot of the writing and given you lots of sentence starters now i want to see you structure your sentence properly so you must have in that paragraph three activities with sentences for each activity okay so plan it first and then write it in the correct place brilliant okay Pause now and go off and do that. Okay, welcome back. So this is my learning chunk too, okay? So you can collect gannets eggs off the steepest cliffs in the Orkneys and learn to sail in our state-of-the-art sailing dinghies, okay? Remember, dinghy is a singular, okay? But if you're writing dinghies, you take off the Y and you add I-E-S, okay? So dinghy is spelled like this, dinghies, is spelled take off the Y and add I-E-S. So the plural form, if you want to take out more than one dinghy, is dinghies. Okay, this is one idea I had. I am actually one idea short, okay? But please don't try and copy mine. I want you to kind of make up your own. This is just to show you how you should structure it once you've done it. Okay, it's a comparison. Remember, that was learning chunk two, okay? We're going to leave, okay, a gap before we put learning chunk one in. Right, learning chunk three, if we remember... It's all about the activities that the children can do because most hotels now provide kids clubs so that the children are entertained whilst the parents are doing other things. OK, so what could the children do at the kids club whilst the parents are doing all the activities you talked about before? OK, so 
I had a couple of ideas. Beach combing, people that walk along the beach and you pick up shells and then you go back and you do something with them. They might be go at the art and craft workshop where they are making things or doing things. Try to think of all the times you've been to a kids club or you've been to kind of an outside club. What kind of activities have you done? What kind of activities would engage the children at this resort whilst the parents are doing other things? The parents might be off in the spa by now and they would need to know that their children are well looked after, well catered for and have got activities to do. Right, this time I am going to give you the sentence starter. Okay, so whilst the parents are enjoying our innovative spa, that's a key word, I like that word, okay, it tells the people that all these facilities are new. So whilst the parents are enjoying our innovative spa, the children will be enjoying. Okay, so there's your sentence starter. You now have to add in the activity. So add in activity one. You can also put where it might be taking place. Activity two, you can also put where it might be taking place. Okay, so a comma separates activity one from activity two. And remember, you might need to insert the word and when you add your third activity. So you are gonna choose three of your activities and you're also going to include the word where these activities are taking place. Beach coming on the beach, art and craft activities in our workshops, okay? Try and be as descriptive as possible. You need to tell the potential customers where these activities will be taking place. You'll notice at the end of this, it's not an end of a sentence because there's no full stop. So you've got your sentence starter. You know you need to add in your three activities. You know you might need to put the word and in. You know you need to put in your comma. So enjoying these activities at our, and this is the last part of the sentence, you need to create a new name for the kids club. Okay, so that's where your sentence will end, at our kids club, okay? I thought initially mini scaras, okay, but I crossed it out and I might actually use mini pebbles kids club. And I know it's the end of a sentence because there is the full stop, okay? So you have your three activities, and then this ends your sentence about the Kids Club Act, okay? At R, and then you insert a new name for the Kids Club that you've thought of yourself, okay? That ends Learning Chunk 3, so I'm going to put Learning Chunk 3 ticked off. Remember, we're going to go back and put in a subheading for our paragraph, okay? So, my subheading could be, ready for some quality family time. It's a rhetorical question, yours doesn't have to be. But remember where you put it. It goes at the very start of all this writing. Okay, today's lesson is quite straightforward, quite simple. Learning chunk one is the headline, but you might do that right at the end and insert it in the correct place. Learning chunk two is all about what kind of facilities or activities adults have on offer. And learning chunk three is about the kids club. Okay, you need to think of the activities the children will be engaged in and then give your kids club a name. Best of luck with that and I'll speak to you tomorrow.